Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a special request this week from Verity, who's raising money for a charity called Farm Africa. So she asked me to draw a mountain goat. This is what we're going to be producing today. So get yourself some plain white paper. You will need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off our goat with a circle. So let's draw a rough circle here to the left hand side of the page. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just our guideline. So you can draw around something, find something small, maybe a coin or something a bit larger, like a, the bottom of a pot or something and draw it lightly in pencil. There we go. Next, we're going to be drawing two lines coming out from the circle. So find the spot just there, just to the right hand side of the top of the circle. We're going to be drawing a line going to the right. There we go. Just a line like that. We're going to be doing another one from the bottom part of the circle, just coming out to the right as well, like so. Now we're going to be drawing a line to join up these two lines here. So we're going to be drawing a line, not directly straight down, but just at a, an angle just here. So just a very slight angle and bring it all the way down because this is going to be the front leg. And then a little line there just to show where the hoof is going to be. We're going to do the back leg now. So just starting here. Just draw a line, just going diagonally to the left hand side. Then we're going to be drawing a line coming down. And then a line coming across just to show where the hoof is going to be. We're putting the tail now, so that's just a little blob like that. Now for the front half of the mountain goat. So draw a line just coming down. Okay, I'm going to do the same coming from this one. Another line coming down. Let's go to the top one again, draw a line coming up and then the same. This one comes up a little bit more though, so to about there. We're now going to add the head, which is an oval shape. So just add in an oval shape like this. There we go. Remember to do it lightly. Now we're going to add the amazing horns. So coming out from the top of the oval shape, a line going up and round and another one coming out from here and round and that's the end of stage one so do carry on in pencil i'm just going to go over it in pen now just so that you can see it better on camera so i'm going to start off with the horns so let's draw this amazing ginormous big horn just here just going around the preparatory line coming in we go round again and come down. We we'll just go around here and then we we'll start doing the head. So from the top here, come down, it's like a bulge where the eye is. So it bulges out like that. Then we'll come all the way down following this oval shape that we did before until we reach the nose area. So the nose area is going to look like this. There we go. And we're just going to colour it in a little bit. Just like that. That's our nose area. So we do the top lip. So there's the mouth down here. And then the other side of the top lip on this side. Just like that. Okay. We follow this by doing the bottom lip. And it just comes round. Like that. Okay, now we're going to carry on doing the cheek. It comes round just like so. Okay, we're going to carry on doing the eyes. So we've done the bulge for that eye. We need to do a big bulge for this eye. This is the top of the eye. So kind of like bulge out like that. We will do the top eyelid, some eyelashes and the eye there. Okay, we're going to do the same on this side. So, we're going to start about there, come up to there. We're then going to do the top eyelid, some eyelashes, and then 
the eye, just like so. Now the bottom part of the eye comes down round like that. Okay, so that's the face almost done. We're now going to add the ears. So there's a little ear poking out here, just like that. Okay, we'll do the centre of the ear, like that, and then the outside of the ear, like that. We're going to draw the other horn now. So just behind here, we're going to draw the horn coming round. It comes all the way round till it reaches the mouth area, just like that. You can do the same the other side. So this one comes up. But it also comes round. The line goes straight to the bottom, but we're also going to be doing a line just from here up to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to carry on. We're going to do the neck. So these goats are super hairy, so we do lots of like lines to show the hair coming all the way down. So they need to keep warm. So lots and lots and lots of fur. Okay, we're going to do the same up the top. Very hairy up here. Just like that. Carry it on. Like that. And all along the back. Lots and lots of this fur. So just coming along and following this circle that we did before. Okay. So now we're going to add in the front leg. So starting actually a lot higher than you'd expect, it comes down like this, comes round, got the knee part, follows on down until we reach the hoof, like so. Okay, and then there's a lot of fur down here, and it comes round. upper leg and it comes to just around here okay next we're going to do the hind leg so this one starts here comes down round and we've got the hind leg and then we're going to be drawing the hoof so just make sure it's kind of in line with this one Like that. Don't forget there's lots of fur around here. Comes up. And then there's a, a bump there until it hits the circle that we did before. Okay. Now we're going to add in the tail. So it's just a little slither just here. Okay. A little bit darker at the bottom of the tail there. Alrighty, we're getting there now. So let's add in the tummy now. It's got a bit of a pot belly, so it comes down and round, just like that. Okay, so we're gonna add in the other legs. They're just peeping out behind these ones. So there's one here. Remember, it's gonna be slightly shorter because it's further away. Okay. Like that, and then the same with this one. You can see it around the back here, and then comes around here, and then the hoof, and then the furry part. Okay, now's the time to go over it in pen if you haven't done so already. And now I'm going to raise all the pencil lines. Okay, now we're going to add some details to this mountain goat. First of all, we're going to do the horns. So watch this carefully because there are lots of lines going round. So we're going to be drawing these curved lines going all the way around, all the way around the horn. And then they suddenly change when they get to about here. And then 
They go round, all the way round like this. And then they follow on round and they go the other way now from about here. They curve in the other direction. So they're all going round all the way to the end. All the way like that. And then the same for the other horn. So they start off going round like so. All the way around and then they suddenly change direction just about here and then we're curving the other way all the way around till the end of the horn okay fantastic you're doing so well so now we're going to add a little bit of shadow to that so just on the other side we're just going to draw lots of little straight lines just on the other side of here So we get to about there. I'm just going to draw a few more, just going round to the tip, just like that. Okay? I'm going to draw a little bit on this side, but not much. Like that. I'm going to do the same for this one. So on the underside, lots of straight lines coming round. Like that. And here. To be drawing some more so it's actually quite dark at the bottom okay now we're going to add a bit more to the face so just draw some little markings just these like little furry lines just coming down there we go okay just around the ears as well a bit more fur coming down and a bit more all around this area just in layers, just drawing a lot more fur. I'm now going to use much longer lines just under here, just to show that it's furry and in shadow. So lots of these long layers. There we go. All the way like this. I can make it darker and darker just underneath the chin area because that's in a lot of shadow. Also just down here, I'm just gonna press a little bit harder now. Okay, fantastic. Now, the legs have some markings. So just about here, there's a marking there. There's a marking on the other leg. There's a marking on this leg. And one just there. Okay, we're going to colour in the hooves. So, just lightly colouring them in. And then one there. Okay, we're now going to do the belly. So the belly. Just in one direction, I'm just doing some shading, just like this, and then behind these legs here. Now I'm just going to go in the other direction, and this is what we call cross-hatching shading, where you do lines in one direction and then lines in the other direction, and it's a very good technique for doing some shading, okay? And then the darker you want it, the more you go over it. So I'm now going over it in yet another direction to make it even more dark. Just like that. Okay, now we're just going to draw some shading on this other leg behind here and on this other leg behind here as well, just to show that it's furthest away. Okay, we're just going to do a few more little markings on the rump there. And this is quite a bit darker, it's got some dark fur here, some markings there a few around there and also we need to draw the ground that the mountain goat is standing on it's quite rocky ground because it's up a mountain obviously so let's just draw some shadow and then some shading underneath just like this so there's our finished mountain goat i do hope you've liked it if you have consider hitting subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this one then you'll absolutely love how to draw a squirrel which you'll find in the link just here. So click it now. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.